so hello to you all and welcome back this is my first proper day out on the moors today so uh, really looking forward to uh, getting amongst it I've been given a bit of a tip off from a friend of mine um, there's a really really fine stag at an old little haunt of mine that the last two years hasn't really produced anything so um, gonna get in there hopefully hopefully it's nice and quiet just me not a million other people um, and see if I can track the big stag down and his group of hinds and just enjoy enjoy the day really you know the weather's quite nice it's a little bit breezy but it always is up on the moors in between sort of sunshine and showers um, but uh, today I've got the the Canon 1DX2 and the 300 Prime f2.8 with a 1.4 teleconverter on so that gives me 420 reach uh, just allows me to be a little bit more mobile got my tripod and um, yeah just gonna uh, get out there amongst it and uh, see if we can get some great deer images I you know really do hope that I strike it lucky straight away but uh, we'll see anyway uh, we'll see you down there so I'm making my way down to uh, one of my favorite spots that has been quiet for the last few years but uh, yeah I'm gonna have a look I've had good reports of the stag is actually in this area so uh, I'll get down there get set up enjoy the day and uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, nice views of the stag maybe his hinds if he's about it's quite difficult this time of year because it's a popular place here and uh, a lot of photographers walkers spotters Oh, I want to get out and see them, which is fair enough, but uh, I like to tend to go to spots where there's not a lot of people, but uh, sometimes that's unavoidable this time of the year, but uh, I'll get down there, get set up and uh, see what happens. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, it really is. And um, 
got to be careful. There's a path right behind me that they usually use, but also there's the... the uh, Sorry, I heard of something behind me then. I don't know if you can hear there. There's loads of red wings arrived. Oh, it's beautiful to hear. This is where they're all moving into. This is a great spot for red wing Phil Ferrin here. Absolutely lovely. But yeah, I've got to go careful. As soon as she makes me. That's it, they're gone. So, uh, yeah, I've just got to tiptoe real quiet. Take it easy and... Uh, but bide my time really. This isn't like bushy Richmond parks. This is totally different. This takes like hours to stalk and sometimes unsuccessful. But uh, yeah, it's the thrill of it though, really. It's just, um, yeah, I can't beat it. So I've uh, come quite a distance already. And um, there was a, the hind over in the uh, bank in the sun there. Oh, it's on her own. I was just creeping towards her, hoping to sit up on the hill, looking across at her, hoping there'd be more there. And I heard a big, a big call out the back here. Um, I think the big stag's up there. So uh, now I'm going to have to track that way, even though it's over there. Because if I go that way, the scent's going to blow straight towards it. So uh, now I've got to go up this ravine, up through there. The side of this hill come up there get up to the top and then look across bear in mind i've got the sun right there so i don't want to be shooting into the sun so uh, it's a bit of a tricky one really but uh yeah at the end of the day i'm not too fussed about getting right up to them It'd be nice to get some environment shots uh, a bit of video just a bit of behavior without them seeing me really but uh anyway better get on with it This is pretty intense. I'm uh, surrounded by stags at the minute. I've just come back up the path after seeing the big guy up on the hill. Um, and uh, I've got one to my right and one up to my left. He's probably 40 feet away. Um, it's bonkers. Um, well, I'm gonna make my way up the track and uh, I'm gonna leave the, the cam running. So it's probably gonna be all over the shop. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes.
well for my first proper few hours out on the moor that was a mighty success today um got in on the magnificent stag and lots of his hinds and uh the weather was cracking earlier and it's turned hideous now windy whizzly misly wet horrible and uh yeah my god i'm soaked to skin um had a great time though really really good nice and close not too close backed off and the stags have just gone off to my left as i was walking up the path not flushed seen me but uh they're a difficult thing to stalk and i've been doing this up here for 20 years now and god i was fitter back then but uh yeah fantastic day absolutely superb head back to the landy now um yeah well earned cup of tea and then a beer i think awesome <laughs>